when you plan to use the Mirai robot control system to solve an automation task, imagine the task divided into sections. By task, we mean an action that you want to automate using a robot. For instance, a task may be to insert a cable into an outlet, or let's say you want to move this beaker from this tray to that tray. The robot's native controller will steer sections of the task with the predetermined movements. The Mirai controller will steer other sections. We use Mirai for the complex sections with variants, when things in the workspace aren't predictable. The robot's native controller can't handle these complex sections. For each complex section in a task, we train a Mirai skill. A Mirai skill is an ability of a robot to perform in real time a movement that can deal with variants. A skill is enabled through human demonstrated training. There are two types of mirror skills, positioning skills and motion skills. Depending on the task at hand, you choose one or the other. In this video, we explain when to use which type. There are two types of mirror skills. One type is a positioning skill. Positioning skills are those that involve a robot moving in a straight path towards a target. Positioning skills are useful for placing a gripper of an object in an unpredictable position, precisely positioning a workpiece for an insertion step, or placing a sensor tool for quality inspection. The other type of mirror skill is a motion skill. You use a motion skill for tasks that require more complex robot motions, when you want to have more control over the robot's exact path. Motion skills are useful for contour following tasks, gluing for instance, picking or placing objects from and to a moving conveyor, or positioning the robot end effector where there are obstacles and therefore no direct path. Some tasks may need more than one mirror skill. Imagine again you want this robot to individually pick glass beakers and move them from this tray to that tray. For this task, we want to use the mirror system for the complex sections with variants. We use the robot's native controller for the sections with predetermined movements. The task breaks down like this. From a starting position, the robot approaches the first beaker. This is section one. We can program the robot using its native controller to perform the simple movement. In section two, the robot positions the gripper above the beaker. But there's variance here. The position of the tray isn't predictable, neither is the color of the beaker. Therefore, we train a mirror skill for section two. In section three, the robot picks the beaker and brings it to the other tray. This movement, the native controller handles. In section four, however, we have variance again. The second tray isn't in a predictable place for the robot. Therefore, we train a second skill. Finally, section five, the robot returns to the starting position. The native controller takes care of this movement. What type of skills should we train? In this case, we would go with two positioning skills for two reasons. First, the direct path between the robot's pose at the start of the mirror execution phase and the final goal pose is free of obstructions. Second, the tray remains stationary during training. A mirror skill is an ability of a robot to perform in real time a movement that involves dealing with variants. You train a skill to handle the section of task with variants. There are two kinds of mirror skills, positioning skills and motion skills. A mirror positioning skill allows you to precisely position a robot's end effector relative to a visible object using the shortest path. You use a Mirai motion skill for more complex or dynamic motions, when you want to have full control over the robot's trajectory. And of course, you can train more than one skill for a task. 
Thank you for your time.